What is going on everybody? Chris C. The Slasher Dude back with another video. Hoping everyone's having a great Friday, aka it is Found Footage Friday. Um, today it's Found Footage Friday, sort of. Um, this is a sort of found footage horror film. Um, but it has, um, I wouldn't call it found footage, but it has that found footage aesthetic to it. The way the camera angles are, the way the camera moves. It's like an, it's an invisible person with a camera following these tourists going to Chernobyl. So this is the Chernobyl Diaries. Sorry about that. Got to kind of switch here so I get some light on it here. Uh, done in uh, 2012, I believe. Um... Only 86 minutes. I'm surprised I got this bad boy with the slip. Came out by uh, by Warner Brothers. Um, good special features for this disc. Yeah, it came out in 2012 or 2010. But uh, this movie's quite a decade old and stuff like that too. And it holds up. I really like this film a lot. So I say um, it has that found footage aesthetic. So basically, these tourists uh, go to. Uh, Go to Chernobyl. Um, it's kind of filmed around that area. Um, I like the scenery a lot and stuff like that. Um, of course, this is way pre uh, Russia, Russia, Ukraine, uh, uh, po, uh, yeah, pre uh, Russia, Ukrainian war and stuff like that too. I really like this horror uh, film a lot. Um, it's done by the same people who did the first Paranormal Activity, uh, specifically this guy up here, um, who is um, Oren Pelly. Um, creator of Paranormal Activity. Uh, I love the first Paranormal Activity. The second one to uh, Anthony's Horn and Morris Point is very cool. Um, I kind of like that sequel a lot too. But this one's a very good one. I'm surprised they didn't do a sequel and call it, and make it like a found footage film and call it Chernobyl Diaries something. But um, I like this too. It has an alternate ending. So basically, um, um, this dude with his, uh, with his girlfriend, a.k.a. he's going to propose to her, uh, you know, a.k.a. fiancé, and... Uh, their female friend and stuff like that go to see his brother that lives around this area in, I don't, in somewhere in Russia and stuff like that too. They plan to go into Moscow, but then his older brother gets the idea of like, let's take this extreme uh, tourism trip with this uh, extreme tourism guide named Yuri. Uh, the acting is really good in this too. Um, I like love the atmosphere. They go in there, they get deeper and deeper, and then shit starts to happen. So it's almost... Uh, it's it's a very good uh, very good horror and the found footage type aesthetic because there's good camera angles here. It looks like there's 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 scenes where stuff or um, stuff is used through their old very old uh, video cell phones and stuff like that too. They're watching certain things, but it's the way the camera angles go, the way the cameraman does this thing, the way the cinema is. I really like this uh, this film a lot. Um, Chernobyl Diary. So I'd give this um I gave it a two and a half out of five on Letterbox with a heart. Um, the Slasher Dude approves of this a lot. Um, I highly recommend you all check it out. Um, I've seen this originally on Netflix. It might still be on there. Check streaming services. Check it out if you have not. Um, so, and then my overall score, I'll give it a, I'll give it a six. I'll give it a good, uh, a good strong six out of ten. I really like films like this a lot that had that found footage aesthetic a lot like that. This is a very good film, so I highly check, uh, check out uh, Chernobyl Diaries. And uh, that's my thoughts and review and uh, on this uh, Found Footage Friday. A huge thank you to uh, John Doe Duggalo, a.k.a. Juggalo, a.k.a. Jeffrey King. Um, I call him the Hatchet King now. Um, then, of course, uh, Caveman Movies and More, uh, a.k.a. Guy. Thank you for joining me yesterday for my uh, for the first, uh, first episode, hopefully, for a long series of uh, something geeky in our collection. We're going to step it up a bit and stuff like that. It won't just be anime, but sci-fi. We'll add sci-fi, fantasy, geeky kind of stuff in there, too. Like, it could be, like, all those genres and stuff like that all rolled into one. I think that's a great idea. Had a great time with those dudes last night. Awesome. I'm going to put some links in the info bar to all my cool cats down here. Subscribe to them all. Also, check out Pop's Movie Dungeon tonight. There is a huge panel going to go through their top picks of the year. So it's going to be an awesome time, uh, a great time to be a, you know, just to be a film fan in general like that. Great time for collecting too. Keep keep, keep it up, everybody. Um, this is our passion. This is what we do. You take care, horror fam. You take care, slasher fam. And uh, I'm Chris C., the slasher dude. Happy holidays, and I will see you all awesome people next time.